What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we are back on Megan our Town Hall 11 account and guys we have a brand new layout because I am playing on my phone because my phone is an Android phone so I wanted to tell you guys about a special offer today from the Amazon App Store and this video is being sponsored by the Amazon App Store. Now is a great time to get Clash Clans on the Amazon App Store. You can now Clash on your Fire HD tablet or you can get the Amazon App Store for Android and play on your Android device. As we all know there's always some awesome offers going on in the special offers section of the shop and right now Amazon is sweetening the deal with some exclusive offers for the Amazon App Store customers. Right now when you buy any $19.99 in-game item you get a $10 bonus credit to spend on Clash. So for instance you could buy that winter season pack or even a $19.99 gem pack and you'll get a $10 bonus credit to spend on Clash through the Amazon App Store. This is open to all customers for the Amazon App Store plus new customers will receive bonus 500 Amazon coins. Amazon coins are Amazon App Store's virtual currency that allow you to save up to 20% off in-game purchases right off the bat. So to get the Amazon App Store on your Android device, you're going to follow the link down in the description. That's going to take you to a page similar to this. You're going to click the Get Amazon App Store, which will help you download it. And then there's also steps to install it, as you'll see here. So we're going to go ahead and download right there. And then it's going to show you basically everything you need to do. It's going to tell you to go to your settings and turn on unknown sources. When it asks you to enable unknown sources, don't worry. It's built by Amazon. On. it's perfectly safe for your android device you can see right up at the top there it's https it's a secure site through amazon so we're going to go ahead we're going to go to our settings turn on unknown sources here so when your file downloads and you click on it to install it a, a page like this is most likely going to pop up we're going to click settings and then we're going to allow from this source which will allow us to install the uh amazon app store and there we go we're going to go ahead and install it and this is going to get the amazon app store onto your device for android so once you get into the amazon app store you're going to go ahead and go find clash clans you're going to click get and it's going to download and install and all that great stuff and then all you have to do is link your super sell ID, get back into your account, and you're able to go ahead and play. And once you combine this offer with the other great offers and games, you're going to be unbeatable and let your other clan members know. And trust me, they'll thank you for this. So follow the link below and download Clash Clans on Amazon to get this limited time offer. And guys, please don't forget to link your account with the Supercell ID. That way you don't lose any progress on your account. So a special shout out to our sponsor today, the Amazon App Store. So let's go ahead and hop into some upgrades and some video action and do some goblin farming because we have this lovely little goblin event where we can get a couple training potions. It's kind of weird playing on my phone. I, I haven't played on my phone in a while uh, just because I'm so used to playing on my tablets, but it's kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that gem box right there and uh, delete that bush. We're also going to go ahead and start upgrading our archer queen right here to level 42. And we have a book of heroes for that. So we're going to go ahead and get her dropped down. And then we're going to wake her back up, obviously, with the Book of Heroes. And then we also have a lovely Book of Fighting, which I want to get my balloons up, guys. I've been using balloons like crazy right now. And balloons, bat spell, all that stuff needs to go up. We're definitely going to get our balloons up right now using that Book of Fighting to level 7. Oh, that's nice. That's good stuff right there. I do want to get these army camps up, but... I wanted to do something in the lab uh, since we had that book of fighting. I'm going to always try to use that up. And then, you know, we can work on stuff such as the Eagle Artillery. Since it's already down, all the weight's already there. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that bad boy as well. And we can move that over to the other side because it will be now done. We'll just throw it, like, right over here for now, I guess. That'll work out. And then we can grab the rest of our loot out of our clan castle from our treasury. From the last war it gives us a little bit of loot to work with and start working on getting something else going in the lab because we don't want our lab to be too empty so what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to do some mass goblin farming with some el primos in here uh, just because obviously the el primos are nasty with the goblins this army is going to be actually really super cheap uh, i don't have it costed up here but we could just uh let's see we're going what six or eight primos and then goblins are like 20, so this is going to be super cheap. Whatever spells we use, obviously going to add on to it. I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. We're going to try to find any dead bases that we can here in Masters 3, and we're going to see what we can get. I'm going to go out and find a base, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, so I ended up dropping down just a little bit. I went down to Crystal 1 because I really wasn't finding anything in Masters. So I went down to Crystal and found this one pretty fast. Now, we do need to try to win the raid. That's the only thing with these goblins. Normally, I don't care... And we're not really going for the win. Let me put in a couple Primos here to tank. And we're just going to keep the Primos tanking. I think we're going to go our Wrecker the opposite side since we do have a Wrecker. We might as well use it. Let's see, those Goblins are getting that Dark Elixir right there. 
Uh, they miss a little bit. Let's get them back in there. Uh, let's go a few right here. One Primo right there. And then we're going to go ahead and throw our Wrecker right in here. We're just going to go right for the Town Hall. And we got to try to win now. And then we'll be good. Let's go ahead and switch our Warden to ground. Man, I love switching the Warden to ground. Oh, it's such a nice thing. Let's go ahead and get these guys in here. If we can get a jump for just right... Th oh, yeah, that's perfect jump. Then we'll rage up. Oh, nice. We're going to get the Town Hall down. Easy money, guys. Easy money, easy loot. And we're going to be on our way just like that. 500,000, 500,000, 3,400 Dark Elixir. Not too shabby of a raid. All right, guys. This one is a monster of a raid. And we got the Town Hall right here. Now, I'm going to throw some Primos to kind of throw these heroes off. And then we're going to go a bunch of Goblins in here. All right, great. All we have to do is win the raid with some goblins to get that. And we can even primo out this eagle so that that eagle doesn't fire on us. Let's uh, do that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice, guys. We're just going to be able to work right around here. Look at those primos taking down an eagle. Oh, that's good. It's so different playing on a phone, though, guys. Like, I'm holding it in my hands. Normally, it's on my desk. Oh, but I like it. I don't mind it at all. All right, so we got the one star. That's already secured. Really, all, all we need from now is just loot. Any extra loot is all good loot. Uh, this guy over here is going to be a little bit of a problem. Let's put the queen on him. And that's looking good. I was going to try to go to the center of the base, but there's multis in there. Oh, we might be able to get in there. But it could be sketchy. Okay, let's, let's hit our queen's ability. Let's hit a few of these guys. Our warden. Warden does not like chasing uh, goblins, I've noticed. All right, let's see if we can get these goblins in here. Oh, do we have a heal there? We do have a heal. Go, goblins, go. All right, we got some of the Dark Elixir. It wasn't horrible. But why doesn't the Warden follow goblins? I've always noticed that. It doesn't like following goblins. We get the win there. I just want to make sure we're getting credit for these raids. Oh, yeah, two out of five using 52 goblins. Obviously, you don't have to use your full army of goblins, but I don't mind it. I goblin knife all the time. Be back soon, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this one. This one might be a little bit tougher to get to the town hall, but we're going to try. I mostly just use our primos to tank on any splash damage so that our gobbies can get in and get out. And it works out pretty well for us. It, it works really well, actually. Uh, let's go in here. Actually, let's go a couple primos here to get through. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of tanking, or a little bit of splash that needs tanked right there. Uh, yeah, let's throw him right here. See if we can get in there. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the Stone Slammer, which I think we have ground troops in the Stone Slammer. I'm going to try to let that work out a sec. I guess I'm going to put the Warden in with the King, since, you know, he doesn't ever want to follow Magabis. All right, that'll work. And then what we can try... Oh, this is going to be a big jump here. We can try to get all these guys right in here. All right, so let's get all of our gobbies going in. Let's go heal there. And then we'll rage them all through here and hopefully get to that town hall. This is that big leap. Oh, I think it's going to work. Nice! It worked out pretty well. And we saved some goblins. Oh, yeah. That's good. We got a two-star on this base. I didn't even need that because we two started. That's that's pretty awesome. We get all the loot. Good stuff right there. Solid. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's go back home. Ooh, star bonus. Nice. Let's go back home and let's upgrade some of the small stuff. You know, we're still working on this baby baby stuff on this account. Get us going there. And uh, let's see. We are at three of five. Let's go ahead another one. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and hit this base. It's crazy the difference from being in Masters to Crystal is. Like, I was not finding anything in masters and then down here in crystal we're just finding all kinds of crazy stuff without having to search too hard which is nice we're just gonna sprinkle in our gobbies all around here oh man and they're just gonna clean up all this loot look at that that's nice and then we just gotta make a break for the town hall here let's go a couple primos i'm assuming there's nothing in the clay castle because nothing came out yet and it would definitely would have uh i guess we should put our warden in uh, let's see. The king can take a shot there. He'll be all right. Uh, let's go. Just trying to make a line here for... I'm worried the goblins are going to go the wrong way here, which they probably will. Actually, the town hall... Or the 
King is getting right in there to the town hall. Let's throw the goblins right here. And they should be able to get in there. I'm going to have to throw a heal down because there is... Actually, I could have just used the Warden's ability. Uh, just because that uh, Inferno is right there. Uh, I didn't even see all this stuff down here. Let's see if we can rage through it. We're definitely not going to get that last little bit of Dark Elixir because I used my jump up there. Almost wish we had two jumps, but man, this one's actually going to be pretty good. It's going to put us above 5 million Elixir. Not bad. We actually two-star the base again. Not too shabby. So... 700,000, 600,000, almost 700,000 elixir there. Not so much dark elixir, but what I was thinking, guys, I forget with the last update, if you go over on items, so, you know, we would get two training potions from this. If you go over on magic items from an event, you actually don't get those. So right now, I'm at four training potions. So I'm going to wait until I use one. You could sell it off for gems, but I'd rather have the training potion. So I'm going to wait to complete that event until I use a training potion. That way I'm down to three of five. You see what I'm saying there? Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And I'm kind of leaning towards, rather than rushing something into the laboratory, uh, saving up my elixir and getting these army camps going up. So I think that's the move is get those army camps going up and uh, kind of working from there. We've got a little bit of loot from the uh the star bonus but we're doing pretty good on this account guys it's progressing well we'll keep everything going but hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video again another special shout out to today's sponsor the amazon app store for sponsoring today's video you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing